Yeah, Zoe just left a little while ago and I wanted to show you what I picked up at the um, the thrift store as well as the um, the art supply store and also um, an indication of what happens um, when um, the wrong combination of paper, ink and printer are used and what can happen. Um, I found some amazing paper, but the, the problem is, is that I'm going to have to be, um, I'm going to have to really take my time uh, doing it properly, but it's certainly going to be a um, uh, a type of paper that I'm just going to absolutely love using. I, I've, well, I've used it before, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, Upo paper, love Upo paper. Anyways, um, here's the uh, the books I got at the, the thrift store. This one looks lovely, and you're going to see why I'm going to have to be, be kind of careful. See my fingers? Because of, that's due to the fact of uh, improper uh, paper <laughs> ink and printer settings, basically. Uh, so I, yeah, I'll show it to you. So I've got to basically be careful, but this is a lovely looking book. Um, you know, try to be a bit, a bit out here, but you know, this is going to be just a nice little, you know, like a coffee table type book, but I'm certainly going to eat it up. Oh, and speaking of which, uh, the tank there, I showed Zoe a bit of, um, the U.S. Uh, archives, National Archives, um, some of the silent footage there of uh, German tanks moving around. And we got to even see some of the soldiers popping out of the side of the tank and stuff like that. And Zoe was just like, oh, my God. I'm like, yep. And remember, there was exhaust fumes the whole nine yards, Zoe, going on in there. And you had to pee in a pot and pour it out the side. And the whole nine yards, like, just crazy. Um, so, yeah, oh, my God. Didn't even see this bit yet. Anyway, so there's one. Oh, there's Billy Bishop. I actually just saw this photo uh on dad versus son in his thing when he was showing uh one of his books there uh darn it um death in the air or something remarked for death or something like that darn it i can't remember the name of it anyway so i also picked this up at the dollar store but it's not the same picture um this looks interesting um yeah i i, I not the dollar store at the uh the thrift store and uh yeah, it looks relatively interesting unfortunately i'm not able to do um 2d to 3d puzzle things whatsoever i have no spatial uh uh, like I'm spatially uh, a spatial retard basically so uh, but I wanted to just pick it up I was actually thinking gee maybe this would give me some interesting ideas and in doing some World War one ish stuff uh, no I already have a finger mark there that's probably mine Shit. Well, it's not like I defaced this anything anymore but whatever um, yeah, I just even Zoe was like, gosh, I know I was like looking at something that uh, at the, the craft store. Uh, what did I, I can't remember what they're called, like Hama. I wrote it down in a book and I was like, oh, my God, Zoe, I can 3D print uh, like shapes here and make little pegs to pop up and I could uh, I do my own little World War One. Anyways, I was going on and she's like, geez, I was like, yep, that's where I'm at. I saw this one as well. This looks uh, well. Why not, obviously? And then uh, first, uh, the origins of the First World War. Gosh, I've heard of this book from somewhere. I don't know why, but... Uh, and that's by this person here and that person. So, I don't know. I haven't really looked at it. This one, I was like, gosh, I gotta get it. Um, it's uh, an illustrated history of, uh, I guess that's London Northwest Rail Engines. Um, rail uh, Railway line, sorry. And, um, yeah, I mean, come on. Look at this. Jeez. I was like, okay, well, I might as well pick it up. It's certainly going to, I think, help um, a little bit anyways. You know? I hope. Anyways, it's, well, it's just going to be interesting, I think. Um, any other books? No. I also did get this. Well, Zoe mentioned, uh, showed it to me. She re repeatedly kept saying, Dad, you got to take a look at this. Got to take a look at this. And I did play with it a little bit um, and ended up buying one. But if we ended up finding out we're not actually using it properly. We, uh, both of us just um, used the watercolor marker straight up on the paper. Oh, my God, it flowed so beautifully. I was like, okay, I got to try this on, like, a canvas, on canvas paper. Or, um, uh, like, I wanted to see if I can, like, you know, draw in, like, just, like, a paint mark of, um, like, uh, for terrain and stuff and hexes. I was just, it just, uh, you know, also one marker. I just wanted to see if I could, it, it's just lovely. I can't even begin to explain to you how amazing it uh, flowed. It was just lovely. But then, uh, you know, I didn't realize you're not, I guess, technically supposed to use it straight up. Like, you're supposed to dilute it a little bit here. So it's got, like, you know, dipping water or on wet paper and then touch the tip so you can do all these crazy things. I guess, like, a true watercolor. I wasn't thinking of that that way. I, I don't know why I wasn't, but um, I'm going to give that a shot um, on some stuff. Obviously not the UPO, UPO paper, which I'm about to show you. So here's the um, 
yeah, I just picked it up as a practice. This is the medium, uh, the medium bond, which is about, geez, I think it's over a hundred pound bond. No, what, about 75 pounds, 75 pound bond. Hold on here. It probably says somewhere. No, oh, there we go. 74 pound bond. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, it's pretty thick. Um, yeah, you know, like a whole lot thicker, obviously, than your 22 pound normal printer paper. But look what happens when you don't use uh, the right combination. That's why you can see why I've got um, my fingers are like an absolute mess. But I wanted to see what it would do. Um, and uh, now I know what it does. But this is, I'm finding interesting. Look at this. Obviously, you can wipe, wipe off enough. And there's always going to be some that stay on the medium. And the thing about. You po paper is I'm rubbing the living dickens out of this like you wouldn't believe. Okay, guys, like look at this. I am rubbing this thing, and there's no flaking. There's no nothing. The only flaking that's coming off is the ink, and you can see what I mean. That um, there's still some left over. Anyways, I'm gonna like practice. I, I just have to. Uh, it's the ink. I, I can't use the. I can't use this ink. Uh, this is a water-based ink. Uh, I need an alcohol-based, I think. Or, like, yeah, that type of stuff. Uh, pigment. Uh, dye -based? Yes, pigment-based. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go down that road. Um, uh, wonderful stuff, though. This, uh, Well, it's, yeah, anyways, look at that. Eh? And this is the thing. Just to look at it from a... Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Not bad, huh? Think about that for... Uh, for, you know, beating the hell out of, uh, like, a, um, for your rule book and stuff like that. This is what I'm trying to think of. You get the idea? All right. That's it. I had a good, uh, had a good, awesome time with, uh, Zoe. And I'm just going to try to, like, calm down a bit and, uh, get ready for tomorrow. And hope you're having a great time. See ya.